she was able to control it, so that was really well done on her part. And that one's going to find the court on Muhlenberg's side. So that's a point for Salisbury. Serve does back in Salisbury's favor. The set to Marson one more time. Goes to the spike, and that's an incredible pickup by Rail. Set up to Chu on the outside. Goes to the massive spike. Shoved right back in her face. Chu one more time. And that one goes in. And Jackie Mitchell just goes for the dump on the outside. One more time from the back row. Blocked at the net. Muhlenberg not able to get there. And the height definitely coming into an advantage for Salisbury. Just trying to get it over. Muhlenberg keeps it alive. Goes for the center dump. And oh my goodness, what an exciting play that is. Brooke Young, who's become so good at the center dump. We saw her do it a lot last year. No one's expecting it. Mm -hmm. Young one more time, Castle in the outside, and freezes Muhlenberg. Get that one over, but now they have to get for this attack. Kept alive by Pawsik outside to Jack Mitchell, and that one gets blocked in the net and falls in. Once you get to that last point, it seems harder to get that last point. Maybe not for Salisbury. About to say. <laughs> they just absolutely smacked that one to the ground on Muhlenberg's side. Goes for the set away from the net, picked up by Haas. Push to the outside, and that one goes in. Nice shot from Angelina Cassidy, able to get it across the court past Muhlenberg's defenders. They've just been going even more back and forth than the first um, set. <laughs> I guess sometimes you get a lucky break, and that one goes off the net and falls in. Camaraderie is what will let you go deep in tournaments. Impressive volley here, one of the longer ones we've seen. He goes with a center dump and hit her. Blair Pawsik now with a center dump. As you see, Salisbury's been celebrating it, and I will never get tired of those. I think is the top thing for Salisbury. <laughs> Absolutely. Marshall from the outside goes to the big block, and that one gets blocked in the net. Salisbury now trying to answer back, blocked by Casserly and Madsen. That one's picked up in the net. Goes to the shot, and that one falls in. Eustace able to get it off the fingertips and falls in. We are tied at 25. Picked up by rail. Coming to the outside, finds Casterly, power arm, and that one falls in. Salisbury goes up by one once again. Push back over to Salisbury's side. Free ball here, great chance to end it. Casterly once more goes to the dump, and somehow Muhlenberg keeps it alive, but it falls in. Salisbury wins the second set. And that was a battle of attrition. Salisbury refusing to give up. That was a thriller, kind of outlasting Muhlenberg. And here we go for the third set. And a service ace to start the third set. Just Miscommunication there, or just misread from Muhlenberg. It's giving Muhlenberg a free ball. Now Chu decides to spike it. That one goes up in the ceiling, and that one goes on the scorer's table. And maybe you're right. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you're onto something. One more time from Muhlenberg. What a volley that we have here. Uh-oh. And Muhlenberg not able to keep up with Saul. Some errors like that are going to happen. And that one is just thrown down. And that's one of the beautiful things about Salisbury. The lead can change just like that. Wow. By now, with direct attack, falls in on Muhlenberg's side. Short one across. Chu from the outside. And the Chu again. And that's why she's our player to watch. Picked up by Yubel. Casually put her, Fawcett puts it in that. And there's Yubel. She throws it from Muhlenberg's side. Good pick up for Salisbury. From the outside, here comes Chu. And that one's a point for Salisbury. She plays pinball with the Muhlenberg Mules. One more touch for Muhlenberg. Good control there. Chu on the outside, goes for the kill. And Salisbury wins it in three straight sets. Who else but Amanda Chu to put that one away? And Salisbury absolutely putting on a show in their home opener here against Muhlenberg. And I cannot say enough about Salisbury's team chemistry and just what what a match that we saw here today for Salisbury.